welcome back this is Jenna here today we're going to make the first video of a series of three videos and this is going to be very interesting because it's um, the quickest and the fastest and the most economical and mo most nutritious way of make mock meat we're going to use only two ingredients and uh, of course something to bind it together which in this case is going to be um, soy sauce but that's it and uh, then you can make a whole lot of things with it. You can make these, 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 all of those things. So seriously, I wanted to share this with you because uh, I love seitan. You know, I have made seitan here in the videos, but uh, the process of making seitan, although easy, it's a little bit laborious and you count with luck sometimes because sometimes it doesn't come out the way you want because of the quality of the seitan flour or uh, these things. And then I'm like, how can I make this easier? How can I make that in a way that people are going to make it under 10 minutes, pop it in the freezer and then uh, take it out and then make whatever kind of meat you want? The ingredients that we're going to use is dried shiitake. You can use, of course, um, uh, shiitake, uh, natural shiitake, but I thought that mm, let's try with the with the dry one because you can store the dry one for months and months and not uh, worry about it. So that's something else that I was uh, that I was thinking about. So what I have here is a shiitake, which I have put in a pan, added water, and then brought it to a boil. And then once it came to a boil, I simmered it for five minutes and then I covered it and let it rest for 20 minutes just for that to get rehydrated. And that's what you come up with, like uh, twice the size. And then I drained the water and uh, this brine, this water here is very good for soups and stocks. So don't throw it away, pop it in the fridge or in the freezer and then you can use it to make a, a whole lot of other different delicious things. So let's get into it. We add the shiitake to the food processor and now we're going to pose it for a few seconds. That's exactly what I want. The second ingredient, which is seitan flour. And why are we adding seitan flour instead of regular flour? Because I don't want that mono texture. When you make seitan, it comes out, although delicious, it comes out with that um, single texture. And when you make this meat here, you have the texture of the shiitake, and then you have two, three, four different textures once it's ready, and it makes a lot of sense. And then we add a tiny bit of soy sauce. All right, that's enough because I don't want it to become a paste. So you gotta be careful with that. So I'm gonna work with my hand here. In total so far, it's four tablespoons. Now I'm gonna work with my hand. And you do that and squeeze. All right, now what we are going to do is we're going to separate into two or three different uh, Ziploc bags and we are going to freeze it. It will be good up to three months in the freezer. Good to go. Right, now I'm going to show you how it's cooked if you want to make just a simple um, ground beef like uh, in the skillet. So let me clean up my station here and then I'm gonna come back and show it to you how it behaves in a stove in a heat. I'll be right back. All right, so now we're back and what I have here is a, a frying pan with a little bit of peanut oil, medium high heat. Now let's get our bag of minced meat and we are going to saute it. I'm not gonna use everything, just a little bit. For spices, what I'm going to use is a little bit of soy sauce, onion powder, and garlic powder. And what I also like to add every time I make seitan is a drizzle, a little bit of uh, lemon juice or a little bit of 
apple cider vinegar to get rid of that taste that the seitan sometimes it has just a tiny bit it makes it the flavors more round this has been cooking for about five six minutes you don't need more than that now I'm going to add just a tiny bit of parsley for taste freshness and for the visual as well I like this tiny green things here all right now we just transfer this into a bowl very hot so I should wait a little bit to try oh, I think it's safe to try now it smells really nice yeah that's perfect I love it the fact that I added just a tiny bit of the tamari or the soy sauce before it was perfect and mind you that once you freeze it every food once you freeze it if you salt it if you add salt it's going to taste even more salty once you uh, defrost it or if you cook it when you cook it actually so pay attention to that and that's the only thing other than that it was like so freaking easy wasn't it guys this is it for today i hope you have liked spending time with me i certainly did spending time with you and i see you next time don't forget those things that i keep saying to you like share subscribe i am loving the comments um i love all the suggestions i love all the support this is so nice we have such a nice community in uh, youtube i wasn't expecting for that, that i was like i'm a little bit uh, overwhelmed i'm loving it and uh, other than that have a wonderful week take care of each other be good to each other and i see you next time bye